Hi, I'm Jomar. Enjoy my videos in my YouTube channel. Hello again. I hope you like my previous videos. In this video, we are going to talk about quantitative literacy. Previously, we have discussed that quantitative literacy is important in developing mathematics in our country. Quantitative literacy is also called numeracy or sometimes also called as quantitative reasoning. What is quantitative literacy? It's the ability to use mathematics in everyday life. In numeracy, logical thinking is very important. Our confidence and ability with numbers as well as patterns impact us financially, socially, and professionally. To give an example, numeracy is very important in giving correct change. It is very important in weighing and measuring. We need numeracy if we are going to use spreadsheets. Now, spreadsheets like MS Excel is very important in our jobs. Numeracy is also important in understanding graphs. In our everyday life, numeracy is very important such as when we are waiting for trains. The concept of ratio and proportion is very important if we want to increase a recipe to serve extra guests in our parties. And this is very important. Setting and keeping to a budget and understanding the financial implications of borrowing money, this needs good numeracy. We also need quantitative skills in measuring medicine doses, in playing board and puzzle games with our children, and helping our children with their homework. Numeracy is also very important in order for us to be comfortable with abstraction. Such as x plus x equals 2x is just similar to an apple plus an apple equals 2 apples. Numeracy is also important if we want to make sense of statistics in the news so that we are not going to be deceived. Such as when someone says there is 100% growth, we need to check what's the base number because for example, 100% increase in 10 pesos means it turns out to be 20 pesos. 100% increase in 1 million pesos means that our million peso will increase to 2 million pesos. That's a huge difference. Now, I have a question. Is speed important? Of course, speed in solving problems has an advantage. However, Correctness is more important. And in this modern age, there is an increasing challenge. The digital age puts a new premium on numeracy skills than ever before. It is very important in our jobs. Computers, of course, can do the maths for us, but we need good numeracy in order to use them effectively. It is very nice to know that in a certain community, all people are numerate. So, what are the signs of being numerate? A quantitatively literate citizenry means that members of the community are able to interpret data, charts, and diagrams, process information, solve problems, and check the answers. And the people should be able to understand and explain solutions and make decisions based on logical thinking and reasoning. This set of criteria are based on the National Numeracy Program in the UK. Now, I have a question. Imagine all citizens of a community are numerate. Imagine all our politicians are logical. Did you know that this statement is invalid? I think, therefore I am. Hence, I am, therefore, I think this is invalid. Numerate citizenry with innovation drives the economy forward. I'm going to say a bold statement. It is not all right to be quantitatively illiterate. Numeracy is as important as language literacy. Now, 
how can we make a difference? This is from the National Numeracy Program in the UK. First, be aware of what you say about mathematics, especially around your children. Challenge those people that you hear saying, I cannot do mathematics. Call the attention of the mathematical community if you hear prominent figures making thoughtless, negative remarks about mathematics. And speak to young people about the value of mathematics in everyday life and in their work. Based on my perspective, these are the ways that we can improve our numeracy skills. First, to our mind, study. Or if you have already studied, review the concepts and the skills. You don't need a degree in mathematics to have a good numeracy skills. Second, apply mathematics in everyday life. Use it. Then, we also need to change our attitude. We need to be comfortable with mathematics. We should not be afraid of mathematics. Here is a challenge for you. Are you a numerate citizen? Thank you for watching this video. That's all for now. Bye!